Yo, what is up, everyone? Steel back again with an ADV narration from World Cup Season 8. So, ha, uh, it is time to get pulled right into the basement. Because World Cup Season has started, that means, yeah, I'm just getting dragged into the basement. That's just how it go. So, uh, we got MX on Latin America versus UD on US South, I believe. So, we immediately see MX with that T-Wave from the, uh, from the Jolteon on to the other Jolteon. So, nice T-Wave still hitting, uh, through Vols Absorb. Mm, love this, love this gen. So he roars him out into Gyarados, so we immediately see Jolteon Gyarados, kind of an interesting team, and we see T-Wave Jolteon, so these are some like, uh, kind of unorthodox mods and sets. UD's team pulling up with that Skarmory, Jolteon looking a bit more standard. So yeah, MX is going to be forced out by the potential electric move. As UD decides to double as a T-Wave comes out, what the fuck? What was that play, dude? What was that? Okay, I, okay, that play just gave me eye aids. What was that play, dude? Um, okay, but, like, you, like, UD could have just... I guess, I guess this was a good play because like Flygon covered the uh, EQ, I guess. Right, but what if what if he just stayed in with the Jolteon and just killed that shit? Like, I I, I get the T Y play, but I don't know. I just don't agree with it. So he pulls that hidden power. What is happening? So what is that? Like hidden power ice? No. What? It's like hidden power dragon. That doesn't make sense. So it's taunt as well. What is what is going on, dude? What is this game? That Latin America lads are insane. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is like already an insane game, what the fuck, what, like, what hidden power is that, like, Gyarados is a physical attacker, obviously, so hidden power dragon wouldn't really work, so, since it's not very effective on Skarm, could be a lot of hidden powers, to be honest, but yeah, this is, yeah, this is already insane, like, that Gyarados set, like, hidden power, um, if it's a special hidden power, last one's gonna be water stab, but I assume it's a physical one, so the last one's gonna be, like, EQ, um, probably not flying stab, so we see drill pack Skarmory, which is cool in this scenario, Allows you to hit through taunt. I like that set very much. So this match is going to be spamming taunt as he decides to spikes, trying to catch him, uh, trying to catch MX on the Jolteon switch. So he's just going to drill back again, I assume, because like this Gyarados can't really touch it. And since he's not, since he's not doing anything outside of just going for the hidden power, I assume the last move on Gyarados is Earthquake. So the drill pack's just getting spammed out. Uh, he's going to go Jolteon on one of these turns. So yeah, it's kind of interesting because, huh? I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, he, he finally T-waves, which is also something, like, I don't know why he didn't just T-wave to try to go for some para-hacks late game. Like, not T-waving was, like, kind of an iffy play on my, like, from my, I don't know how to say that, like, <laughs> in my opinion, okay. Nice un-English from Young Seal. Um, so he can't spikes again, he tries to catch him on the Jolteon switch again. And now MX is definitely going Jolteon on this turn, this is, like, the freest Jolteon of life. So UD can double out, yeah, this is the freeze Jolteon of life. So if he does go Jolteon, I, I, I swear, I didn't know, I just guessed, yeah, yeah, this is like the freeze Jolteon of life. I don't know why he didn't do it earlier, though, but yeah. Um, now you can just fire off a Baton Pass on the Flygon. Actually, Skarmory isn't taunted anymore, so if UD is really the GOAT, he just stays in on the BP and gets the free spike, but yeah, that's not really a play. So the Flygon is mega obvious here, he can also go into his own Jolteon, I think BP is definitely the play on MX's end. But yeah, there's no real reason not to BP here. Because there's no way in hell he's staying in with Skarmory on a Jolteon to take that. So he goes into T-Tar. I assume the BP is just going to get flung out right there. Let's see what MX has for this T-Tar. See what kind of unmon he has. <laughs> nice double T-Wave as well. I didn't, e I didn't even... Uh, I didn't even... Uh, I didn't notice it, but I didn't even like talk about it. That he's T-Wave Gyarados as well. Like, double T-Wave plus Suicune. This is the most disgusting team of I've ever seen, dude. Uh, nice double Electric on UD's end. Trying to stop this Suicune. Yeah, the Suicune's kind of a threat. To be honest, uh, if you manage to plow through the Jolteon, because the Jolteon is paralyzed right now, so he, Suicune's going to outspeed the Jolteon. Uh, so that's going to be kind of an L, I guess. So the Zapdos is in right now. It's going to... I guess he can go Jolteon, but Jolteon can't really do too much. Actually, Jolteon can can do a bit back with T-Bolt. doesn't do too much, but at least it chips him a bit. So UD could double out on the Jolteon. Uh, MX could have some other mod. Oh, yes! It is here. Ah, nice slurping noise in, because we see a big Blissey. So is this T-Wave Blissey as well? Is it triple T-Wave plus Suicune? Imagine, dude. Just pulling up with all the T-Wavers. <laughs> That's fucking this. Yup, yup, yup. How did I know? Triple T-Wave plus Suicune. This is the most disgusting gross team I've ever seen in my entire life. Who who made this, dude? That person should get sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, ooh, this mod learns T-Wave, I think. Triple Water as well. What is going on? I thought the hazard removal would be like some ground. What the fuck? What is this team, dude? Oh, not like this. So he fires off a pump, which is a shitload to Skarmory. As Skarm gets up a spike on a rapid spin Pokemon. So you can jump back a bit to chip him. Uh, so we see Pump doing a nice juicy chunk right there. So this Stormy might have recovered. It might also just be... Yeah, it might also just not be recovered. It might be some attacks. 
So he can try UD can try to chip with drill pack. Uh, another pump hit them imagine getting this lucky. So drill pack actually does a shit ton. Holy shit, Sarmi is Sarmi's defense is garbage. That is a clean 30. So if he gets a pump miss or if uh MX just goes for rapid spin, that's gonna be nice. So yeah, let's let's just see that. Uh, maybe a nice dodge we can get some extra chip in. Or if MX just wants to get rid of the hazard, uh UD is gonna be able to get some extra chip in as well. Uh if he has ice beam, I think think he can go for that. I don't know if it's in range. I th Yeah, I think it, it should be in range. So if he has Ice Beam, he should click that. So yeah, this Garmin should be dead by the end of the turn. And the Spike is up. Spike should be up by the end of the turn, but that doesn't really matter. Starmie can spin on quite a lot of these Pokemon uh, later on. So the Starmie is actually going to be quite disgusting to face. It might be like three attacks uh, spin on this team. Might also be recovered, two attacks spin. Uh, I don't know. So he does fire off the spin, so please no full para. Ooh, juicy, juicy. So he gets off the freest spin of his entire life because of that full para. This is what this is what happens, dude. Uh, but yeah, someone needs to tell MX that this is ADV and not DPP, so T-Wave spam is not a, really a thing, but it's working for him right now, so <laughs> I am not saying shit. So yeah, this is disgusting, dude. I don't even want to nar narrate this team, dude. It, oh, wait, wait, wait. What if the Starmie is actually like T-Wave? What if it's a like quad T-Wave? Just to assert some extra dominance. It's like spin, po oh, he has T-Bolt. Why didn't he click that? Like, I know there's a dual I know that's the reason he didn't click it, but still. <laughs> like, after pumping for the first time, I think UD would have stayed in anyway, so we could have just t it for free there. I don't know. Kind of an iffy play. So we have T-Bolt, spin, pump, last move is either... Uh, Ice Beam, Ice Beam would really help him in this game. Uh, it could be T-Wave if MX really doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He just slaps T-Wave on every single Pokemon he finds. Uh, but I assume it's going to be Ice Beam or Recover, either one of those two. If he was Recover, he could have recovered on the Skarmory, trying to fish for some... Trying to fish for some... Uh, what was that called? Trying to fish for some paral Paralysis. So, UD switchins are one of his electric types, but Zabuz doesn't appreciate Ice Beam. Jolteon, uh, Jolteon actually comes in on this pretty freely, but there's like a lot of Jolteon countermeasures... So UD could go Jolteon on the baton pass out, hope he doesn't get full paralyzed on the Bliss. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really see UD winning this to be honest. Because his electric type just gets smashed by the Bliss. And his like his T Tar could and T Tar and Flygon could I guess pose somewhat of a problem. And his last could be maybe a threat as well. His last could be Let's look at that last. Uh it doesn't have to be It doesn't have to be a spiker or hazard removal doesn't have to be either because he doesn't need hazard removal because none of these like only two of these mods touch the ground so far so if the last doesn't touch the ground i think the last is going to be something like look at it could, it could be something like a guard it could be something like like something that doesn't touch the ground i guess i actually kind of like gar maybe a um now nah, he doesn't need a bucky ground flagon is a fine rock resist i guess then on mx's side i think the last is should definitely be a rock resist because he does not have one like starmie's the rock resist right now so <laughs> the last is definitely going to be a ground a nice bulky fat ground or something or some other form of a rock resist because you definitely need that in this tier so yeah that's definitely gonna be the last on mx's side but on ud side i think a gar or something could be fine i i honestly don't know on ud side so yeah we don't know but yeah jolteon does come out i assume he's gonna bp out or at least try yep bp up nice easy bp so he can go into one of his physical attackers here he goes into t-tar so if this is bandit and he fires off the bandit like focus punch or rock style on speaker that's gonna do some nice damage especially focus punch he just tighten his focus the sweep just come out, so this is gonna do like 40. Yeah, it does about 40. That's some fat damage. If he hits this with another focus punch, it's near dead, which is gonna be really cool. But the sweep switch ins are kind of low. This mod's actually a threat. I don't know if Zablis is in a range of two surfs, but it might be. Uh, then UD really has a big problem. I know, I know Jolteon's still there, but Jolteon's gonna get chipped just like Zap does. And then, like, after that goes down, this mod's just gonna kind of win, sort of. Well, we don't, we know he it doesn't have Ice Beam. I mean, we don't know that, but we assume he doesn't have Ice Beam because he didn't click it yet so flygon could i guess be kind of a like it doesn't it's flygon doesn't beat suicune so that, that that's like kind of that's kind of stupid but yeah the suicune is getting chipped especially if it tries to switch into bantar again uh in that case it's getting molested and then flygon could clean it up i guess later but i really like i said again i really don't see ud winning this between blissey plus plus uh, intimidate from Gyarados plus Suicune plus Starmie, especially if Starmie has recover, which I don't think it does, but it might have recover. If it has Ice Beam, that's even worse because then uh, it just it's just gonna fuck up Flygon. So that Surf is indeed a two hit KO. He gets like a max roll there, but that's that's like it doesn't really matter. He needed two like low rolls, so he goes into hard. T oh, oh, goaded, <laughs> oh, goaded. He goes hard into Tyranitar. So it is a range of the next one. So next time Zabuz can't really come in, but he goes T-Tar on the Jolteon, which was like fire play. So he gets his Bantar again. 
uh, I guess his bands are in again, sh I should say. So, ooh, <laughs> disgusting play, disgusting play. Sacks have a jolt and they get the C wave, uh, which is a good play. So now we can fish for Parahax on like the biggest threat on UD's side. Yeah, this is mega over. Dude, I hate T-Wave. This, <laughs> this move is busted as shit. So there's no switch on UD's side. He can just sack Zapdos off because it doesn't do a whole lot with the Blissey still there. He can also, yeah, I think that's basically his only play. Or Joke's go hard Jolteon, yep, yep, yep. Hard Jolteon is also fine because with this uh, Mon right here, the Zapdos, you can still Baton Pass around. Although I think the last Mon should like be quite good versus these Electrics, so I don't know. But yeah, he just goes into Jolteon. Uh, Jolteon's gonna get outsped next time, so it can't even come in. Yeah, this is a big threat. So he gets the Baton Pass off, which is cool. Flying's gonna come out here. Uh, they're, like, he j he's just gonna go, MX is just gonna go into the Gyarados, so he's gonna go for either Rock Move or Toxic if it's some Toxic Protect bullshit set. So, yeah, he's gonna either go for one of those, there's no way MX is gonna stay in. So Gyarados has come out, so let's see what is gonna come out from the flag, and we just sweet EQ, which is a play I do not necessarily agree with, because UD is in the back, he really needs to make predictions, and the Gyarados was, like, ultra obvious there. I guess he didn't wanna, uh, I guess EQ covered the Starmie, which was cool, but I, in my opinion, Gyarados was ultra obvious. But yeah, Starmie could've definitely come out as well, but I just wouldn't risk going Starmie. Although there's obviously no U-turn in this gen, so I guess, sort of. I guess it sort of makes sense if you would go Starmie, but yeah, he tries to T-Wave again. <laughs> because MX is, is, MX is such a greedy boss, look at this man just trying to go for T-Waves in every single possible month. But, uh, now he's gonna go into Jolteon. As a hidden power is gonna come out, which does a shitload, and it's resisted, what the fuck? Is this like hidden power steel? I'm gonna have to like look it up after the battle to see what hidden power this can be because this is some bullshit. Like, what? What would hidden power steel hit? I would like, I know uh, hidden power steel would hit some things, but I assume the last move is earthquake. If the last move isn't earthquake, I guess. Yeah, it is earthquake. Okay. So, what the fuck does hidden power steel hit then? If it's something like really obvious, I'm sorry for being a noob idiot. Oh, I guess Aerodactyl. It's <laughs> really fucking stupid. Yeah, I guess it does hit Aerodactyl for some nice damage. I guess it kind of makes sense. It doesn't at all, because Gyarados is not an Aerodactyl answer, but it can Intimidate, I guess, eat one hit, prob- They can probably eat one hit, because Gyarados is pretty fat, especially with that Intimidate. So then you can HP steal it and do, like, a solid 60, I don't know. Dude, this set is, like, ultra whack. So UD's last Mon is hopefully going to be something I can deal with this. If it is the Gengar, then it can T-Bolt this, but he's keeping it unrevealed for now. But the only Gengar that can do anything is Dynamic Punch Gengar, or I guess Boom Gengar if it just booms on the Blissey, but- yeah, it needs to be one of those. So he doubles into T-Tart on the Bliss, trying to get that T-Tart in. So nice play by UD. But, again, still in the back. This is the free Suicune slash... Uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really go Gyarados here. This is a free Suicune of life, basically. It's going to be a Rock Slide or Focus Punch. Oh, actually, we, we saw that he didn't tighten his focus, so... It's no Focus Punch. So Rock Slide doesn't do too much. Uh, I think it's already... Yeah, it's already a real Surf Suicune, so he can't even go off a of Pump Miss. <laughs> AK just trying to hacks. So he's just going to zap those sacks that shit off. Suicune has really been putting in the work this game. Yeah, Suicune is actually a big threat versus these, like, double electric teams. Although, Jolteon did get paralyzed, which is the ma main reason it couldn't really deal with big Suicune that well. But yeah, there's no real switch into this, so I hope the last can deal with this fat Suicune. Yeah, like like I've already said a couple times, I'm kind of repeating myself right here, because I don't really have anything to talk about, but uh, I think MX can't lose this. But yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, Depend it's depending on the last, but if the last would have really put in work versus MX's team, UD would have definitely already switched in, so, I don't know, I don't just don't think the last is going to be that valuable. If it is some Gengar with, like, Dynamic Punch or Explosion, that can maybe do some bits, but yeah, with if it's with Explosion, it can't do shit. And if it's with Dynamic Punch, it's going to need to hit a lot, it's going to need to, like, hack its way through, basically. And it needs to be, like, Dynamic Punch, T-Bolt, that's the only coverage it needs, because MX's team is mono loose to that <laughs> i mean it's mono loose to, like fighting plus electric coverage it's actually like look at all those mods but yeah nothing really gets out outside of like the nine punch gengar as far as i know so i guess it doesn't really matter so man's ud thinking long and hard about this turn so yeah let's see we'll see what man's is gonna switch in so let's see if the um saying let's see a lot but <laughs> let's just take a gander at what esther's chat has to say but they're i think talking about some other game I know, I actually just talking about this. Learn Metacross Body Slam. Because, <laughs> uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I, didn't, I didn't even talk about the fact that T-Jar was revealed as the last. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about Metagross and everything. And, um, 
Metagross should be like the thing. Metagross should be the last. I, I saw that said that a couple like I saw I saw they said that a bit ago. But yeah, I don't know why MX forgot his rock resist at home. Mantis like rock resist? Mm-hmm. A rock type? Never seen one of those. But I guess Suicune is the T tar <laughs> I guess Suicune is a rock resist. I mean Suicune is not that bad of a rock resist to be honest. Like Suicune plus Starmie, aka the best rock resist in the game. So it is the Gengar, so let's see if this has anything. If it's dynamic punch, ooh it is! Oh goat, goat, goat. Damn, that's fire. So he just needs to get a hit in the Confuse here, and he still has a shot. Then he still needs to hit the T-Tar. Um, uh, and then he should be fine, I think. He needs to get the Confuse, the hit, and another hit on T-Tar, and the Gengar should win. Uh, which is kind of stupid, but yeah, he just needs to hack his way through. That's the, that's the only thing he'll ever need in life. This Blissey can, I guess, just go for the chip, the chip him range of Starmie Pump. But then he still has to risk the Pump Miss. But yeah, he goes in a T-Tar as the Confusion comes out. Oh, go, oh, oh, go, go, go. Damn, this is gonna be fire. This is gonna be hot. So this T-Tar is in. The T-Tar is ready to claim a kill with Rock Slide here. Although I don't think Suicune dies 100% of the time. But yeah, this obviously still misses and everything. But uh, Rock Slide, I hope it's gonna be coming out. Uh, okay, there's the oh, there's the Para. So good, so good. So he's gonna get some chip with Earthquake if you did let him get that chip. You can also just go hard in the Gengar if he really wants to flex on the haters. Or going to Flygon. Yeah, you can go into one of those. Actually, Flygon just walls this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said Gengar when Flygon just walls this shit. And you don't want Gengar chips because it's the only one that can win. So, yeah. Uh, you can just tech up here if he has it and just kill this Gyarados. I think it's in range of Toxic plus Sandstorm. Which would be really good. And nice making some nice ASMR smacking noises. Sorry if I've been doing that the entire video. It's just like a bad habit of me. Just because my like mouth gets a l like dry a lot when I'm talking. And when I'm just rambling on like in a recording like this. So yeah, it does die to the poison, which is cool, but hmm, that's still gonna be the storm. If the storm doesn't have ice beam, oh, it's yeah, okay, he switched it in, so he's probably he probably does have ice beam. If it didn't have ice beam, this flying would have been a massive threat. But yeah, I think it does have ice beam. So if it if it does, it's mega over. You did go T charge to just scout. I think T charge to play, but since it's bandit, there's gonna be no pursuit. Damn, bandit pursuit should be a thing. They should just like make. They should just be mixed bandit. That. That sounds like a most fire set known to man. Just band it and then the opponent thinks they can switch out their psych type. Ah, psych, it's nice pursuit. <laughs> that's that's that would be the very delicious set. So ADV players and tours take notes of banded special T Tar. I mean mixed T Tar, you know, you know what I mean. So there's no real switching outside of Suicune. This is this is just gonna claim one basically. Actually, no pump, she's gonna take this out. What the fuck am I saying? But yeah, if he misses the pump. Ooh, that's hot. Please, please, no para. Oh, not like this. Flagon could have put in so much work, dude. Damn. I would have loved to see how this game went without if that like if he didn't get put paired there because this next pump's definitely gonna hit because that's just how Mons works and the teacher's gonna get sent back to the like ultra dimension. So yeah, if for some reason I said teacher gets a kill when there's like a water type right in front of it. Uh, I forgot this is not AV teacher the goat set, but he just has to go into Gengar and yeah, basically just get it in and just start going. This is like this is it. So he goes hard into Blissey. Blissey dies to T Bolt plus Dynamic Puncher. He just needs to hit this. Come on, hit it right into the egg. Charge up that punch. Charge up that little fist. Gengar has such little fucking arms. Come on, charge it up. Hit him right in the egg. Just that egg should be like splattered all over everywhere. And if he hits that, then he only needs to hit one. So yeah, it is time to. Oh, not like this, dude. Yeah, I'm salty about that. <laughs> I would have loved to see this Gengar just go in, just crack that egg right open. Have this egg like juice everywhere all over Blissey. Yeah, he hits the second one, which is cool, but it doesn't matter. He loses now. Oh, actually, he doesn't. No, 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 never mind, never mind. I think he still needs to... I think MX still needs to hit a pump. He either needs to dodge another dynamic with T-Tar, or he needs to hit a pump with Vegas Army. So, I think you go T-Tar first to try to go for the dynamic punch dodge. Because otherwise, if you uh, pump you lose, you lose the Flygon, I think. Because I think Suicune is in range of Flygon. If I'm saying something like extremely stupid right here, <laughs> feel free to correct me in the comments. If I said something like completely stupid... Uh, in this entire video, feel free to correct me. I'll be watching this video as well, so I might put some like annotations in the uh, description below or in the comments below. Sorry. So uh, I don't know why he went Starmie first. That doesn't really seem like the play to me, but he does hit his pump, so it doesn't doesn't matter. But yeah, I think going Tidar first to try to fish for dynamic punch dodge was the play. But yeah, it's all over. Assuming this has Ice Beam and he didn't just bluff it. This is like Ultra Edition over. So he texts as we do see the Ice Beam. So it's over. So yeah, GG to MX bringing the most disgusting team known to man. Like, look at that. Mmm, disgusting, disgusting. Yeah, that's like Ultra Gross. Yeah, that, like, I don't I don't get this team. It's like T-Wave plus T-Wave plus T-Wave plus Starmie plus T-Dar. Like, there's, like, look at the Rock Resist. Nice, ah, nice, no actual Rock Resist, but instead just two Fat Waters. And then there's like Starmie for some reason. I mean, Starmie is there for like the 
spinning, but why is this army not like <laughs> why is this army not a clay doll, I guess? I I don't know what the fuck's going on in this game. Um or on MX's team, but yeah, UD brought a cool team but unfortunately got molested. By kind of a bit of hacks, but not not too much hacks, just more of <laughs> like some disgusting team on the opposing side. So UD taking his time to click his only button. So he just needs to go with that uh, Ice Beam miss. JK, we're not in Gen 1, aka the worst tier I've ever seen. So yeah, I hope you still enjoyed this video, although there were some T-Wave mods on the screen. So uh, let's see, if, did Doc like show the standings? No? Okay, Doc's a lazy hoe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs>